Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand uh, create table command in SQL. So, using this command, we can create tables. So, these are the tables that we are going to create: employee and department. The uh, how these tables are obtained from the ER diagram has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because uh, that understanding is very much important. <coughs> Sorry. So in this class, uh, we are going to create this table with these columns, and also we are going to create uh, this key attribute also SSN for this table and uh, department number. So we are going to consider only one of these key attributes. Uh, we are going to consider department number, and uh, uh, we are not going to establish the connection between uh, uh, so uh, the relationship between the employee and department. So the relation. About this relation, we will try to understand in our later videos. At this moment of time, we will just create these two tables. So, we will just create these two tables with the uh, key attributes. So, the command that is used. So, in SQL, we call each statement of execution is what we call it as a command. And uh, those commands are, uh, are specified or will be there in a specified format. So uh, to create a uh, to create a, a table, so here, uh, so to create a table, we have the keyword called uh, create table. Create table is the keyword, and after that, th these keywords are mandatory. So this is the command structure. First, we have to give uh, create table, and after that, we have to give table name, and after that, we have to provide this. This is the way in which the SQL commands will be. Okay, for creating a table, this is the way. And after that, we have to give uh, uh, open brace. And within that open brace, column by column, we have to provide. So the column name has to be provided in the braces. First, we have to provide the column name. The co column name should not have any spaces. And uh, after that, we have to provide the data type of that column name. We have already discussed about the domain. Domain means the type of characters, the type of values that needs to be uh, that needs to be stored is provided by the domain, and uh, that is what we call it as data type. So the data type has to be provided, and the size of the data type means the number of characters or the integer number of digits in an integer. That size has to be provided, and after that other attributes. So what are these other attributes? We will discuss about those attributes whenever the context comes. Okay, so the all the attributes are to be provided uh, for the the column, the attributes that we would like to provide. All those attributes are to be provided with space separated. So one attribute has to be separated uh, with the other attribute by using space. And uh, uh, one column name has to be separated. One column has to be separated by other column by using by using comma. So by using if you are using comma means. Uh, that is the end of about the discussion of column one column and the next column name has to be provided similarly data type other attributes column name data type other attributes so all the columns uh, columns are to be uh, created or to be provided with the corresponding data types and uh, the other attributes that we are willing to provide so let's start the creation of our first table called employee table this is our employee table we are going to create and the keyword that has to be used is create table after that the table ha name has to be provided the table name is employee and the next one is f name is our first column and the data type of f name is var care of 15 var care means the combination of digits and characters is allowed so we have taken it as var care okay so usually digits will not be there uh, but uh, we have taken them as a var care and uh, uh, 15 is the size the f name the number of characters within that f name should be 15 and the next attribute this is the new attribute that we haven't seen so far this is not null so what it means is uh, null values are not allowed so what it means means every employee should have their f names there should not be an employee without the f name first name f name means first name that is the reason why we are mentioning that this column is not null so if you try to insert the data of an employee without his first name then the data will not get inserted 
okay so the uh, comma is used for separation and the next one is the second column name middle initial m i n i t means middle initial and the data type is var care of one the initial is going to be only one letter uh, one alphabet so it is taken as a middle initial and it is null not null is not provided means null values are allowed by default it is going to consider if the middle initial is also not provided is not provided means those values will be accepted okay next one is uh, l name uh, var care of 15 and not null next one is ssn var care of 9 and not null not null okay next one is birth date the data type is date so dates are uh, different okay so the dates are going to be uh, there is a specific format to, for dates to be inserted. So we have mentioned it as date, address, var care of 30, sex, uh, male or female. So we have taken size of one, salary. We have taken the other kind of data type called float because it is going to have floating point values. Uh, so we have considered it as float. Next one is D number. Uh, department number department number which is of integer type and it should be not null it means that every employee should be assigned to a department an employee without the department number is not allowed into the table okay so far these are all the column names that we have provided and the new kind of the new way of other than column numbers we have we can provide some of the attributes like primary key so here for this entire table what is the key attribute we have discussed about this in our uh, year diagram the key attribute for employee entity type is ssn we have underlined it ssn is underlined means this is the key attribute so the discussion about the key attributes has already been discussed so for this entire table the primary key with this line of with this uh, statement we are we, we were able to decide that the uh, the primary key for this table is ssn okay so the next table uh, we are going to create our next table here uh, the table name create table is the keyword and the table name is department and the first column name is d name and var care of 15 not null so hope you understood that concept so the primary key one more thing is the primary keys can be provided at the end of all the columns or they can be mentioned within the column name declaration itself okay so here in this case we have d name and d number as the key attribute but we have to take only one key attribute no need to take both the key attributes we are considering for department we are considering d number as the key attribute so d number has been considered and it is of type integer data type and not null here primary key without mentioning it at the end here we can mention the primary keys if if this particular column is primary key means we can mention it as an attribute of that column okay so the next one is uh, uh, locations uh, the attributes are var care and not null okay so these are the, uh, the, the, the this is how the column the create uh, the creation of the table employee and department can be done now we will try to do that on command prompt we will try to create that on our command prompt as we have discussed sql plus has to be provided to go into that sql plus username as we have discussed as system and the password that we have created that we have uh, given at the time of creation so the sql has been opened we have we, we got connected to sql so this is the command uh, this is the create table command for employee uh, table creation press enter table has been created the same uh, query has been copied and it, it has been pasted so similarly we'll try to create the next table which is a department table just copy this command copy this command you uh, you try to type this command because uh, it it will uh, you'll get practiced with these commands so we have copied the same command and we have given the primary key 
and uh, the table has been created the department table has already been created so these two tables has been created now to get the confirmation whether they are created or not uh, uh, in the table we 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 have one way which is uh, the command is desc command desc stands for description of the table and the table name is uh, we have to provide a table name employee so with that uh, the description about the table will be provided so this is what we call it as metadata data about the data data about the uh, table okay so f name not null these are the uh, data types that we have provided and all the columns has been created so the entire table has been created and one more point that we have to understand is uh, the commit command the commit command so what this commit command means is uh, uh after completion of every command or after completion of certain amount of work we have to commit that work we have to save that work if you if we if we didn't execute uh, if you haven't executed this command and we have closed this uh, uh, sql plus means uh, this tables will not be created will not be saved so for that uh, things to get saved our work to get saved we have to use this commit command so just click on it commit complete without executing this command the work that we have done will not be saved it is very important most of the uh, freshers who are working on sql plus they will forget about the command and again they have to uh, uh, create the tables so make a note of it uh, commit is very important uh, uh, to use after uh, the execution of every command hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching